What's going on my people? Welcome back to another episode on Back to Africa. My name is Kyode and today I'm going to be talking about how we can make money in Ghana. So I've been speaking to a lot of people over this last week and one of the biggest concerns that keeps coming up is how am I going to make money in Ghana? How am I going to take care of my kids? How am I going to take care of my wife? Um, and it's a really good question. It's a legitimate question to be asking and it just shows that you're, you're sorry, mentally and in terms of your priorities, you're in the right place because you don't want to come to Ghana with no idea what you're doing, no route, no sort of logistics in place. Um, that could potentially be a bad decision for you and your family. But having a firm plan, knowing what you're doing, or at least having a strong idea on what you're doing, puts you in a position that when you get to Ghana, even if you have to tweak things and change things a little bit to get to where you need to be, it's possible, you know? Um, so without much further ado, I'm going to go to number one on my list for number one businesses to do in Ghana, and that is sell land. So obviously land is a thriving business in Ghana. Every, we all want to be there. Um, so the demand is there. People want to come home. And if you can aid in bringing more people home, not only are you going to be able to take care of yourself and your family, you're going to be able to provide a real genuine opportunity for other people to come and do great things. You know, um, it's not just about financial gain. Really and truly, if you can make money and truly give people value in life, you're going to be a happy person. So for me, land is number one on the list. Now, let me go into how you can use your land to make some money. So, for example, if you were interested in making, in selling some land and you came to me, I could sell you one acre of land in Kota, Ghana Eastern Region for £3,000. Now, you could break that acre down into four plots. If you sold each of those plots for one thousand five hundred pounds, you'd you'd um, you'd total six thousand pounds at the end of that. That's three thousand pounds profit or fifty percent profit. Now you could you don't have to sell it at one thousand five hundred per acre. If you can provide value, for example, if that land is in the in the midst of a community, it's in the midst of amenities, it's in a certain position that gives it a higher value in the market, then you might sell for two thousand pounds a plot. So you see how the numbers can add up there and you can still give people a great opportunity because, you know, £2,000 for a plot of land, which is still big, a quarter acre is a big bit of land. Um, yeah, everybody's winning. So they, they, that's just one way that you can do it. Now, let me go into another way that you can make your money with land. Now, you could scale it up. For example, now, our price for, for an acre of land is £3,000. Now, if you came to me and told me that you wanted 100 acres of land, we would definitely be able to work a price for you based on the bulk that you're buying. So you buy 100 acres at a bulk rate, I don't know, let's just say, instead of 300,000 pounds for 100 acres, you get it for, I don't know, 250,000 pounds, for example, or whatever I, whatever we, we decided to, to come to. Now, if you broke that down into one acre plots, and sold that for three thousand pound an acre, for example, you would see your profit at the end of that. You know what I mean? So, it's a very simple way of doing things. It really is as simple as buy, break down, sell. You now you can take that a step further, and you can add more value, which is going to increase the value of your asset. So you could buy an acre. Let's just stick with one acre to make things simple. You could buy one acre of land. Now, you could build a three bedroom house of nice, high quality. Let's say you spend 30 to 40,000 pounds to build the house. Now, potentially a three bedroom house on an acre of land, landscaped. Um, let's just say, for example, 100,000 pounds, which is a very modest price. I mean, as we, as we all know, for, for what you're getting, 100,000 pounds, that is a great, great price. Now, you've bought the land for 3,000 pounds. You've spent let's say £35,000 to build a three bedroom house to completion. Um, let's say you spent another £5,000 on some furniture and um, decorations. So that takes you to £40,000 for the house build, £3,000 for the land, that's £43,000. Now you've sold the house for £100,000. That's a £57,000 return. So it's literally as simple as that. Business doesn't change just because you're moving to Africa. Business always stays the same. So if you have a smart approach towards business, 
you're always going to be able to find the opportunity anywhere you go. And that's one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk about. Um, you need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith in the Most High. If you know the Most High is providing for you in the UK or he's providing for you in America, why do you think he can't provide for you in, um, in Ghana? Don't limit your God. Don't limit. Don't limit your Most High. At the end of the day, man, that's that's my that's my personal approach to it. Um, but anyway, carrying on. So that's that's another way you can make the money. Now, I'm gonna stick on land. We can go even deeper into that. You could buy the land. You could buy an acre of land, build a house, or build an apartment block on it. And you could either sell that apartment block, or you could rent out the apartments yourself. And now you've got a stream of revenue that's coming in. That's long-term money. Do you know what I mean? So this is another smart way you could think of, you know, investing and, you know, building yourself an asset. You don't necessarily have to sell. You could build yourself a lifelong asset that's going to continue to bring in the money. Um, when people's tenancies end or leave, you can always upgrade their apartments and potentially you could charge more. You can increase the value of your asset. So... The, the sky is really the limit. And when you go to Ghana, I just think the access for the everyday person into business that's going to really bring returns is very high. If you have the right mindset, the right strategy, there really is a lot of things that you can do to change your position financially. The next way that you can make money in Ghana is farming. Now, as we all know, farming is something that's integral to every society on this planet. Without farming... I don't think you can have a civilization like we have at the moment. As we know, Ghana is a tropical nation. It's in the tropics. Um, it gets amazing amount of sunlight every year. It gets an amazing amount of rain every year. Fruit trees, vegetables, it doesn't matter. Anything you want to do, you can do it there. There really is no limitation. There's obviously a few different um, fruits and vegetables that you may not be able to grow, but the amount of things that are full within your sort of you know growing zone it's amazing oranges pineapples coconuts melons trees can take some time to grow and start giving you a return but in the meantime you can plant vegetables to give you some quick turnover some vegetables take three months to grow to maturity some take six you can mix it up and you can have a constant rotation of crops coming up which you can take to market and either sell yourself or you can sell it to the sellers in the market so you can you know be a supplier to a seller so that's another way you can make money. Goat farming. Goat farming is a thriving business. And I think it's a business that's only going to grow just because of the logistics of actually um, raising and herding goats. As you can probably tell, I've been doing a lot of research into goat farming um, as it's something that I'm really am interested going into in myself. Now, you can start off with five goats. You can start off with three goats. You need is one male, two unrelated females, um, and you can eventually grow that flock. All you'd have to do is um, every now and then bring in a new male to, you know, um, keep the flock growing as you don't want to inbreed all of your goats. But that's a thriving business. If you don't want to go into goats, you've got chickens that you can go into. Chickens is probably a bit easier. You can get a lot more chickens in a smaller space, obviously. Um, feeding chickens can be a bit cheaper than feeding goats. As long as you have faith in yourself and most importantly, faith in the Most High that he's going to provide for you, then there's nothing that you won't be able to have and there's nothing you won't be able to achieve. That's guaranteed. Now, um, I'm going to be going into more detail on some of these um, businesses over the next few weeks. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Peace. Oh, I cannot wait no more. Take my family escape back home.